All right, this is the final part, guys. It is 5.42 p.m. All right, this is a sick video. Yes, you better enjoy it while you still can. So, I'm no longer talk about the Griffin topic. No. I'm done doing that. I'm never doing that again. I made my error. My biggest error I made was talking about the Griffin topic, letting the Cobra Food employees know, letting you world know. And I was, I overstretched things. I was overconfident. I was too cocky. I thought I would get her number down like first try. Yeah, I mean, even though you're Y and you can get girls easy, like not all chicks, not all chicks you can get easy that I have. Some girls you gotta, you got you gotta play a little bit. You gotta fight a little bit. Because you're Y, you still end up getting her. But don't forget, there's other attractive, normal men in the world who are garbage and trash you have to compete with too, Ivan. Yes. Obviously, some Sarah. Yeah. Ivan, will she be a bit jealous if you if you, if she found out you went on a date with like two chicks? Yes, she will. <laughs> a little bit jealous, a little bit, a tiny little bit jealous. She'll be not that jealous. Relax. I'm not dating her, but she'll be a little bit jealous, obviously, because why? And she knows I like her. If you're an attractive guy and you and a chick knows you like you like you like her, they love that. Oh my God, this guy likes me. Handsome Ivan Amara likes me. It's a, it's a good feeling, obviously. I rejected him. He likes me. It's a good feeling. So once you start becoming a bad boy and you start picking up chicks by going on dates with them and all stuff, you'll get the chick's attention. Just like Nick Cannon got Christina Mil Milani's attention. Obviously, Nick Cannon for real life is not, uh, he just doesn't look like that. They made him look nerdy like like in the movie. But like, Nick Cannon's a good looking guy for in real life, obviously. But in the movie, he start, he, they made him look like this nerdy guy who's not that attractive when he's a pool guy. He gets a makeover and he becomes this bad boy and all the chicks want him and he becomes more popular than even her. And she ends up, because of that, she ends up liking him in the end. She confesses her feelings for me and I like you. He says, oh, so now you like me. Now that I'm, now that I got my makeover, now you're interested in me? When I was a pool nerdy guy, you didn't like me at all. And now that I'm a bad boy and all these chicks are chasing me, now you see the confidence in me. You like me a lot now. Yes, and he ends up getting her in the end. That's how he gets her. Yes! Yes, perfect example. Some Sarah. Perfect example, guys. Perfect example, some Sarah. Yeah. Okay, enough about the topic. I talked for a good hour about the redhead topic, the rejection topic. Ivan being a bad boy, right? I might call this video Ivan. Ivan becoming the bad boy. I might call that 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 this video the interesting video. Interesting video, Ivan becoming the bad boy. <laughs> I might do that. You know, so I might put that in my in my in my in my video. I might do that. Yeah, I'll talk about Zayn's for the rest of this part, guys. I have a good fifteen minutes out of my phone. Yeah, so Zayn's I'll make for one point two billion dollars. Four ten towards salaries, um, seven eighty towards the movie, and ten million towards the documentaries. Is that My top two cans for the director position is Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. Those are my two top candidates. I don't know who I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose either Peter or Mel for the movie. To direct my movie, obviously. Peter, I'll pay him his $85 million for the four years of Zanus. $10 million signing bonus. $65 million salary uh, for production. And a $10 million post-filming bonus. Mel, I'll pay him $10 million bonus for pre-production. 40 million for production, 6 million post filming bonus. And I'll give him 180 million dollars of the profits. The box office. The box office receipts. And I'll give him 25 million dollars of the merch receipts. Peter gets 450 million dollars of the box office receipts. 
and $80 million in the merch receipts. So Peter signed a $580 million deal, which is seven hundred about $700 million in own money. Mel signed like a $260 million deal around there. Whoa. 180 plus what? 180 plus 56 is what? I, I'm a calculator here. I don't know how much Mel... I don't know how much Mel... What deal Mel signed? Give me a sec here. 180 plus 56. 236 plus 25. Yeah, I was right. Mel Gibson signed a $261 million deal. Which is like two hundred million in American money, because Mel lives in America, so he signed about a two hundred, like I don't know, ten million dollar deal with Mel Gibson. Massive contract for him. That's good. Not as big as Peter. He's not as big as Peter Jackson, but it's a massive contract, a two hundred million dollar deal in American money. It's a good deal for Mel Gibson. Now that's good enough. I mean, I don't even make this in Hollywood on average. Yeah, it's a good deal for Mel Gibson, obviously. And both those directors will be the executive producers of my movie, my co-writers. And my, and my, uh, what? My directors. And they'll be the boss of my movie. You give Mel power, and you give Peter power. As both those directors like having power for the movie. Mel Gibson was the boss of Passion Christ. That was his baby. Peter was the boss of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. That was his baby. Both Lord of the Rings and, and Passion Christ were both Mel Gibson's and Peter's baby. That's why they took a good chunk of the pie, because it was the... Like, Lord of the Rings, believe it or not, was Peter's movie, man. It was like, he was the boss. Yes, he answered to Bob Lynn and Michael Shea, but it was... They gave him the keys, man, to the kingdom. Peter was the boss of Lord of the Rings. As he took all that cheddar for himself, he made more than even Bob Shea and Michael Lynn, Peter. And those guys were the, were the New Line executives, and they gave all the money to Peter, because it was his movie. It was his, his baby, man. They gave him the keys to the kingdom for that movie. Mel Gibson's baby was Passion Christ 2. That was his own production company. He funded with his own money. He would made like $300 million off Passion Christ, Mel Gibson. So something crazy. Obviously, yeah. And that's why you got to give them both power for your movie, obviously. Full power. But they don't get... I Do I get full power in everything? You get full power in everything, except there's two things you don't have full power in. Ivan, what is it? You don't have full power in the concert arts. I have some say. VJ has some say. My seven team ha ha my my, my script of robots have a say too. You don't have full power. You have power for the concerts, but not full power. For the contrast, you have some say, but you don't have full power for that either. Because I don't trust you, Mel. I don't trust you, Peter. I'm scared you're gonna pay John Mega and and, and Avon Jose shitty fucking contracts. Don't pay Avon Jody 500k per year. Don't be fucking cheap, okay? That's not a great page. It's, a, it's, good, it's good enough, I am. I'm like, no, Peter. It's not that great. Don't pay John Mayaga like 2 million, 1.7. No, it's not that great. Ivan, so it's a good paycheck, Ivan. Like, don't forget, he lives in London or, or, or Britain in, in England. You have pounds, and he's making even less. Ivan, he's still making like 600k after taxes. That's a lot of money, Ivan. I'm like, no, it's not that great. Make sure he walks away with his millions. I'm saying, make sure they walk away with their millions. That way, they get paid and they're happy and then they live a great life. Obviously, I'm saying. Because the way Peter sees it, the way Peter and Mel see it, okay, if you pay a volunteer nine fifty k, he'll make like four fifty k after taxes. That can last him for three years. Four years, he'll get rules in the hall, it'll be fine. That's the way they see it. They, that's why they think it's a great paycheck. Peter is used to the shitty contracts that his actors got paid for with the Rings and the Hobbit. And that's why he thinks 500k is a good paycheck for, for Von Joe J. 950k combined deal is good, it's good for, for Von Joe J when it's not that great, obviously. Ivan, he'll get rules in the hall, it'll be fine. He'll tell me, oh, Ivan, he'll get rules in the hall, it'll be fine, Ivan. Like, once he does Zane's, we're world famous, he'll, 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 be, he'll be able to bargain for a million five plus for his movies, I'll be fine. He's already rich, he'll be fine, Ivan. I'm like, Peter, don't be cheap. You know what I'm saying? The same thing for John Mayaga. Like, Mel Gibson might think, yeah, Ivan, $1.7 million is good enough for John Mayaga. He'll still make like 700, 600K after taxes. I can last him for at least four or five years. He'll get Rosen Hall. You can borrow for money. He'll be fine, Ivan. That's 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 the way they see it. I know I know the way, you're, the way you guys are looking at it, but it's not great of a paycheck, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you need to at least walk away with your, your million dollars plus, man, if you want to have a great paycheck for a movie. Guys, they're Hollywood actors. They're the best of the best. 
My companies burn in Hollywood, hire paying work, pay them more money. That way they get paid. They can get their, they can live that great life. I mean, they're already rich, yes they're rich, but they can live an even, an even better life. An even richer life. Obviously. Because John Boyega already owns his nice cars. He already owns his poor. John Boyega's worth about like 10 million bucks. He's rich, that guy. He already owns his nice cars and all stuff. Avon Jote is not as rich as John Boyega. He's only worth a million dollars. But he probably still owns a nice car. Maybe a $50,000 Benz he owns or something like that. They're already rich. If you want them to live a great or even richer life, pay them more money. The way they get paid. You know what I'm doing. It's bizarre. Because people might be like, Ivan, you can get a forty thousand dollar Porsche. That's good enough. I'm like, Pierce, you're fucking cheap and greedy. No, pay him his is 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 what is his four to three point five million dollars. We cheap. Is there? Don't be cheap, is there? Sarah? Yeah. I, I talked to a comment with me. Think something like Incredibles, guys. <laughs> Look at that. I want to own a high end company, man. This is going crazy. I don't know. $300 million high advanced jet with a GPS. Actors are flown on my $300 million jet. Parting it up with my $300 million condo. Something really, really high tech. Doing taberies and parties in my $70, $65 million super luxury yacht. In the ocean, experience my grand piece of property. Professional ad shoots, better than Hollywood, like high end ad shoots. The best stuff I'm gonna be getting for the for the shoots, being featured on the magazine ad shoots. P picture that. Unheard technology for my movie, one point two billion dollar movie. Unheard of sets. Best cameras in the business, best equipment for the cameras. Unheard of special effects, visual effects. Six hundred plus million dollars in points towards visual effects. Yeah. Sixty thousand extras in Switzerland, yeah. Hollywood can't afford that, yeah. I might come to blow out of the water. The luxury buffet. Staying at sweets. The limo services. <laughs> Two thousand dollar gay fire. There's a gas for the, the hotel party. The movie hotel party. The goodbye the, the goodbye movie party and the red carpet event at the Burjack Hotel. Yeah, my company blow out of the water, yeah man. Sir, it will blow Hollywood out of the water, and that's why all the Hollywood actors are gonna work for me so bad. It's been crazy. The only lucky chosen few are, are will we'll get in, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Doc team filming you. Hence why. All of the things actors gonna fill on top of the world because you also have the you have the buzz, the trending pictures and the buzz. Obviously, you also have the doc team following them around wherever they go. They fill on top of the world. It's an amazing feeling. The whole world tuning into their social media, the buzz of the movie, the trending pictures of you know, the actors on, on Twitter, and the doc team is constantly filming them wherever they are. Filming John Mayaga, filming Avon Joje, filming me, filming VJ, filming Peter Romel. Filming my seven team, filming all the other actors, Carl Urban, Don Cheadle, I just out, but the docking's filming all of them. They're filming on top of the world. Amazing, man. A couple of people blow out of the water. Yeah, man. Obviously. Being a part of the game, they're also going to be in the game. Yeah. The game. So when you play as like John Baega and Avon Jose, you actually look, the, the characters look like them. In the game, because they're gonna wear they're gonna wear the motion capture technology. They're gonna do their voice acting work. Hey, you guys come in, I'll fly you guys in to Vancouver. All you actors who are in the game, you fly you to Vancouver. You fly them to Vancouver, obviously. They do their voice acting work and they wear the motion capture technology. So John Baega, Digimon Su, me, VJ, we do the voice the motion capture work. We do we need to do the voice acting work. A lot of work. And you get your million five dollars for that. You work for maybe I don't know, a month and a half, two months, you get your one point five million dollars. One point seven, one point eight, two million dollars. It's a good deal for the actors. Get your check, you work, you get your check, you go home. 
obviously, to center. That's why the actor is going to be very busy because they, they, you not only have to do film the movie, you need to practice your lines, you need to train, you need to film the movie, you need to do your dialect training, you need to train, you need to do your tackle training, your horse training, you need to film for like 10, 11, 12, uh, 11 months of shooting. You also have to do the game. The game won't take as long. They only have to do a good like maybe a month and a half of voice acting work and motion capture work and they're done. And you've got your check. I mean, how do you get paid? You get paid, your check is divided over out over two months. You get four checks. Your $1.5 million, your $1.8 million is divided over the two months. You get your check and you go home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because the actors will not only be excited for the uh, for the movie, they're also going to be excited for that game. The movie more, obviously. They're going to be really excited for the doc in the movie, but they're also going to be excited for that for that, for that that Zanus Unreal Engine 5 technology game, man. I'm making for four million million, guys. Most expensive game ever made. <laughs> In, in, in game history, yeah. I don't say Rival will be so hyped for that game. I can't wait for this game, Ivan. Yeah, it'll be hyped. He's my walkthrough star, right? Yeah. He'll be hyped for that game, obviously. That's my coming blow out of the water, yeah, man. Before I show this camera, guys, um, Peter Jackson would tell me or Mel Gibson, Ivan, I only made Lord of the Rings for like $95 million dollars. We only put like $30 million towards visual effects for, for, for Fellowship of the Ring, Ivan. And those ring rates were that creepy, yes. Those ring rates were creepy in Fellowship of the Ring. I find in, in Two Towers, Return of the King, the ring rates were not, were, not the, 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 the were not as creepy. But in Fellowship of the Ring, they were creepy as fuck. And Peter will tell me, oh, Ivan, I only put like $30 million towards visual effects towards that. And it looked like that. You're putting $600 plus million towards visual effects, Ivan, towards your world building, the demonic characters and the action teams. Holy shit. You're looking at like an AI like real devil Ivan, something like so scary that the world might cry for you and all your actors. I'm looking at real horror Ivan. Melkison will tell me, yeah Ivan, this will make my Passion of Christ look PG. Yes. Hence why Zanus will be the best horror total possible picture. Think of that technology guys. Look at something unheard of for the technology of Zanus. Something revolutionary. Revolutionization of technology for world building, something better than Pandora, 8K world. Wars that will blow the Lord of Rings Wars out of the water and Horror that will blow all these horror, horror movies that came out, like The Exorcist, The Conjuring, The Shining. I saw The Shining a couple years ago. It's, it's pretty scary, but it's not that. I didn't find that scary. It will blow all the horror of all that out of the water. A revelation of horror. People will even tell me, yeah, Ivan, Aerotop will look like three, four times more realer than even Thanos, Ivan. And Thanos is pretty formidable. He was a formidable opponent. You fell for the Avengers. Think something four times more real than that. As far as Hans is the best story, told the a picture. Yeah, man. And it was this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am Mayor. I'm signing out. Peace. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.